In this video, we learn how to find the modal class as well as the median class interval, which is the class interval that contains the median. For both of these things, we're going to be considering grouped data. More specifically here, we're working with grouped continuous data. And so to learn about the modal class interval as well as the median class interval, let's go ahead and work through this example. We're told 45 runners recorded their times for a one kilometer run. The results are summarized in the grouped frequency table below, which is the table we see here, and we're asked or told to find, firstly, the modal class interval, and secondly, the class interval that contains the median. Okay, well, just as I always do, I'll start by writing SOL here for solution, and we'll start, of course, with question one. Put simply, the modal class interval is the interval which has the highest frequency. So looking at our group frequency table here, we quickly notice that the highest frequency we have is 15, which tells us that 15 out of the 45 runners took between 390 and 420 seconds to complete a one kilometer run. And since 15 is greater than all the other frequencies, that makes the interval 390 to 420 the modal class interval. And so I'll just go ahead and write modal class interval, two dots, 390 to 420. And in fact, I'll go ahead and box that result. There we go. That's the modal class interval. Next, question two. Now for question two, we need to find the class interval that contains the median. And although you don't have to do this, what I like to do is add a cumulative frequency column to my table. So let me quickly add a column with some rows here. There we go. And I'll write cumulative frequency at the top. Cumulative frequency. Okay, now the first cumulative frequency is equal to the first frequency we have in the table. So that's six. And so I write six right here. To find the next cumulative frequency, I add the six I just wrote to the next frequency in the table. So that's six plus 14, which is 20. I carry on this way. I add this 20 to the next frequency I see. So that's 20 plus seven, which is 27. And I carry on. I add this cumulative frequency of 27 to the 15 I see here. And 27 plus 15 is 42. And last but not least, I add this 42 to the three that I have in the next row, which gives us 45. And a quick check to always make is that the last value we have in our cumulative frequency column is equal to the sum of all the frequencies. In this case, remember, we were told that there were 45 runners, which clearly tells us that the sum of these frequencies is 45. So this cumulative frequency of 45 is indeed correct. Okay, now that we've added a cumulative frequency column, here's what we can do. We're going to start by finding the median's position. Median's position. And the median's position is given to us by the formula n plus 1 over 2, where the n we have here is equal to the sum of all the frequencies. In other words, it's equal to the total number of runners we have. So replacing n by 45, this quickly leads to 45 plus 1 over 2, which is equal to 46 over 2, which is equal to 23. And careful, this isn't saying that the median is 23, it's telling us that the median is the 23rd value. And let me just underline that, there we go. Here's what that means. In the context of this exercise, there were 45 people running, and each of them ran one kilometer in a specific time, and all of those times were organized in this grouped frequency table. And so imagine if we wrote down all 45 of the recorded times in increasing order, then the median would be the 23rd value in that list. Of course here though, we don't know what each specific time was. And that's because this table tells us how many people fell in each class interval instead of telling us the specific times themselves. What we can do though, is figure out which class interval the 23rd value finds itself in. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to add some digits on the far right hand side of my cumulative frequency column. And here's the whole idea. This cumulative frequency of 6 tells us that the first 6 times recorded were all between 300 and 330 seconds. So from the 1st to the 6th value, the time taken was between 300 and 330. 
the cumulative frequency of 20 we have on the next row tells us that the first 20 values all took less than 360 seconds and more than 300 seconds. But since we already know that the first six values were less than 330, that tells us that from the 7th to the 20th value, the time taken was between 330 and 360. I carry on this way. From the 21st value to the 27th value, the recorded times would lie between 360 and 390. And carrying on, from the 28th value to the 42nd value, the time taken would be between 390 and 420. Last but not least, from the 43rd value to the 45th value, the time taken, or the times recorded, would all lie between 420 and 450 seconds. And although we don't have to add these digits to the cumulative frequency column, I find them really useful. Because let's say for a second we were asked which class interval does the 10th fastest runner lie in, well, technically, I'd be looking for the 10th value in the long list of 45 times recorded, written in increasing order. But thanks to these digits on the side here, I can tell right away that the 10th value would be on this row right here, since it corresponds to the values between the 7th value and the 20th value included. So the 10th value would definitely be there, and we could say that the 10th fastest runner took between 330 and 360 seconds. More importantly to us right now, though, we know that the median's position is the 23rd value. And so looking at the numbers on the side again, we quickly notice that from the 21st to the 27th value, the times taken were between 360 and 390 seconds. And since 23 is between 21 and 27, it's quite clear that the 23rd value, and therefore the median, lies in this interval. And so the class interval 360 to 390 can be called the median class interval. And I'll go ahead and state the final answer over here, like so. And I'll simply say that the class interval, class interval containing the median, two dots, and I write the class interval. That's 360 to 390. And we're done. We now know how to find the modal class interval. Remember, that's the interval which has the highest frequency. And we know how to find the median class interval, which is the class interval containing the median value. And that's it for this tutorial.